Hi, everybody out there in uh, in the World Wide Web. Uh, we're uh, this is Dr. Wright, and this is Crystal, uh, and uh, we're sharing some really exciting stuff. Uh, we're going to share um, some direct lymphatic uh, function, uh, or actually visualizing lymphatic flow in uh, ladies uh, with lipedema in their legs, um, and this is really important. So this this, we do a lot of research uh, here and it helps us better understand lipedema, which ultimately helps us better treat uh, uh, ladies with lipedema. And uh, so one of the things we're investigating is the effect of lipedema on lymphatic flow. Um, as, as everybody knows, uh, lymphatic function is crucial for healing and metabolism and in, in inflammation in the legs of ladies with lipedema or a, everybody, but in, in ladies with lipedema, it is, there's, there's impairments and we're trying to better understand what those impairments are. Um, so this just a brief, the, the videos are going to show uh, this technology called ICG, which is uh, direct lymphography. And that involves this, um, this dye, this indocyanine green, which is taken up by the lymphatics. Um, and then we uh, have an infrared camera that uh, shines a light on it. And that makes this green, this green dye fluoresce like, in the same chemical process like a lightning bug does to create light. So um, this is, um, I'm gonna let Crystal take over because she's the, She's the master of this uh, ICG flow, and um, we're going to um, uh, show one thing I want to just sort of preface is, is, is we're going to show where uh, in, in areas of the leg where there's no lipedema or normal areas, uh, the, the flow looks no, more normal, which is a, a linear uh, straight uh, pattern, and then in the areas of lipedema, um, it it becomes more diffuse and uh, and and uh, and not uh, does not pump as as aggressively. So here 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 uh, Crystal's taken over. Hi, I don't know if I'd say master, but thanks. <laughs> um, so the first uh, video I'm going to show you is actually sort of my process of before injecting. So, um. You can't quite see this image very well here. It's kind of a dark screen, but it'll get lighter here as you start to see. Um, this is that top of that foot right here. You can see where I've injected in that first zone, that second zone, that third zone, and that fourth zone. We wanted to see <clears throat> all four zones on that uptake of that flow um, of that um, indocyanine green. Um, one moment. Let me go to the next one. Yeah, so, uh, hold on, yep. Oh, oh no, it's going to be a PowerPoint. Oh, yeah, go for that. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Can I just make that bigger? Yep. Okay. Let's see right here. Now, the next image I'm going to show you is of a patient whose lower extremities um, aren't impacted up until that upper calf. And you can see here this, this nice clean uh, linear uptick until it gets to that knee area right there. Um, I'm not really sure which side we're viewing on, but um, I'm going to rewind that just a little bit here. So you can see in that color imaging here that she's got her ankles are not impacted. And when we go switch over to that IR, you can see very cleanly the top of that sock right there to identify the rest of that leg. And the top of that calf, it starts to get a little more diffuse, a little more pooling. And then as we get to that knee, we've got a lot more pulling right there. Um, and sorry. So, so that's no, that's so it's normal until you get to the, the top of there and it's there that pooling is 
a sign of abnormal lymph flow and uh, and that's called backflow right there, dermal backflow. The next patient I'm gonna show you, she has um, right off of this image, you can see here, this was the one that I had shown you in that very first video where we were first injecting her feet. You can see these X's over her foot. This is the top of her foot right here. Um, and then you can see very clearly as you image up the leg here, this is that cuff. There's almost no flow that you can see clearly until some diffuse pooling right up that interior aspect of that of that calf there. The next patient is also. Sorry. Um, so this is that same patient, but this is that lateral image, that outside part of her leg. So there, so she, that's still sorry. That lateral is the there's like four different uh, lymphatic channels, the main lymphatic channels, and so this the outer leg are are, are a separate you know separate lymphatic channels. So um, and we're yep and so. This one here, it kind of went up that leg and back down. You can see that cuff here. I'm a little shaky right here. I'm just going to balance out here, I promise. Um, so I really wanted to get an image of that cuff from a far away. And you can see very clearly that is the top of her foot, those three X's and that cuffing right there. And there's no visible flow above that cuff of that endocyan and green. Yeah. Wow, striking. That's really, you can really see where the lipedema tissue, you know, starts and ends right at that cuff. And then, Those are beautiful images. All right, sorry. That was the last one here is of uh, the same patient, but the, this is, again, that fourth zone, that, that posterior aspect. So, Started off in that color imaging here, so you can really have an understanding of what we're looking at before I switch the, the camera over. Um, this is the back of her foot here. Um, <clears throat> and you can see that cuff very well defined. And that channel is just going right up around underneath and around that cuff and then nothing. Um, and then there's no visible popliteal node um, for her either. So that was wow, that's really, that's, that's great. Uh, that's, that's awesome. So this is really exciting stuff. I mean, this is this is some of the first images uh, available out there on on this uh, lymphatic flow in uh, lipedema, and I'm we're real excited to be able to do this research, and uh, and, and we'll be telling you more about it uh, as as and we're always looking for people who are interested in uh, being subjects for research and help us better understand uh, lipedema and uh, help us. And ultimately, uh, treat uh, treat and help more ladies with lipedema. Um, so, thank you for your attention, um, and thank you. A lot you of us working on this. This is awesome. Uh, thank you, Doctor Wright, for all of your research and everything you do. Oh my gosh, no! But uh, you uh, people, people who know, we we I can't do it without the amazing people like Crystal to help me. So, all right. Uh, sign it off. Happy Wednesday.